Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing on this Hamilton Beach Flex Brew Universal Coffee Maker, model number 49930. So this does Nespresso pods and K-cups. On the left side it does Nespresso pods, and on the right side it does K-cups and, and a ground coffee using the reusable coffee filter. So Nespresso pods, this is, it, takes, it uses the original line. This is what the original line looks like. There's K-Cups. Now this is the, the um, Vertio line. They say Vertio on them, and they're kind of a round. This is for the different, the newer Nespresso machine. So it doesn't take these. So it takes, they're called the original line. Okay, so it looks really nice. We've got some tape we gotta remove. Okay, so getting that tape off was pretty tricky, so be careful. They've wrapped it around a bunch. I ended up just cutting the tape right there and then going separate ways. So around back, we got a water reservoir. Looks like we've got a red plug. Remove red plug. So this water reservoir just lifts up, and on the bottom of there, we got to remove that. Remove this, or this machine is not going to work. And then we can slide the water reservoir. So that's a different type of a lid. I'm not used to seeing something like that. Got some numbers on the side for the water reservoir. Let's do dimensions really quick. 10 and a half front to back. Side to side's nine. So the tallest part is almost 19 inches. So I get this question a lot. Will it fit under a kitchen cabinet? You know, it just doesn't. So it must be a little bit taller than 19 inches. Cause yeah, it's just hit, there's kitchen cabinets are typically 19 inches tall. You can put it back there a little bit, but you're gonna be careful. Okay, so it's got two sides. This is the K-cup side. There's a sharp needle up there. You're gonna put your K-cup here. There's also, that's also where that other brew basket goes, which is inside of here. There is another brew basket. That closes. This is for the Nespresso side. This is a metal handle. There's a lot going on there. Um, looks like we got different sizes. And then lights pulse while preheating. Drip tray. And that does, when it discharges the capsules, they go into here. On the right side, it does have a power switch. The cord is a two prong cord. It's 26 inches long. And again, round back here, don't forget to remove that red plug. No cord storage. Okay, so let's look at this reservoir. I was having some difficulty with it. So this, this is kind of a different approach. I don't know if that's the handle. I guess it could be the handle. Um, there's these rails that it slides on to. So again, yeah, there's what the red is of war looks like. Let's look at the brew. The brew basket is inside this. This is steel. Be careful. This could have some sharp edges, but drip tray. And then there's the reusable. You can put you use your own coffee ground. This just has a hinge. This doesn't come apart. It's got an O-ring. You put your coffee grounds in here, about two tablespoons. There's the max line. Close that. And then up here is the little lever. You'll remove the K-cup basket and you'll put your basket in. There's the K-cup basket for piercing the bottom of it. So let's measure here with the drip tray installed. You got about four and three quarters with the drip tray removed, almost seven and a half. Over here, it's a lot shorter. So about four and a half. And you can remove the drip tray over here too. A seven and a half. So this drip tray, it's very deep. And it's got some hooks. We can put it up here. We can put it up a little higher. And then you've got three inches. So that's different. 
got a nice look to it. I like the silver, like a two-tone silver and black. Comes with a manual. Looks like a pretty nice manual. How to do single serve, yeah, so it looks pretty good. Care and cleaning. So the Nespresso side is going to brew 1.35 ounces to, and 2.7 2 and 5 ounces. So it's basically going to do an espresso shot and you can do a coffee on this side. You've got 8, 10, and 14 ounce for this side. That's by those buttons. I am going to do a video how to set this up, how to prime the pumps. And then I'm also going to be doing a detailed video on how to brew an espresso shot with an espresso side and a coffee with the K-cup side. Thanks everybody for watching.